Unless it's some totally made-up term or something like Lord, I'll refer to someone the way they wish to be referred to as. I mean, as long as I know ahead of time or as long as they're presenting in a way that, that you know, signals, hey, yeah, this, this is the gender I would probably identify as, right? If someone who is blatantly male carries themselves and has all the affectations and all the stuff, you know, in a very feminine way, you know, makeup and the whole works, right? Then I'll assume they want to be referred to as a woman, and I'll call them that if, you know, if it comes up somehow. But in my head, I wouldn't think of them as a woman. I'd think of them as a male who, for whatever reason, wants to take the opposite role in society and everything that comes with it, you know, including presentation. Or another possibility is that they're autogynephilic. But I'm not going to assume that immediately. They'd, they'd have to show a number of signs of that, so... I see absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to take on or adopt the opposite role. I see absolutely nothing wrong with males dressing up like women and playing women's roles in society. I, I don't have a problem with that, unless we're talking about something like sports, and then it's just not fair. You know, but if that's how you feel about yourself, and that's your authentic self, then who am I to judge? I'm certainly not going to treat you poorly over it. And heck, if someone gets sexual gratification from fantasizing or somewhat playing out this role of the opposite sex, and it's not hurting anyone, I mean, what's the problem with that? Who cares? I mean, I have my whole fat thing that I've had to find a balance between happiness and health, right? And I also see no harm in someone not associating with either gender role or anything that comes with them. I see no harm in androgyny. I see no harm in someone not clinging to any roles. But that doesn't mean that people need to think of you as something other than male or female. My issue is how so many trans people want others to think of them as literally the gender they identify as, with no trans in front of it. You're not supposed to think of them as taking on the opposite gender roles and everything that comes with them, including presentation but that they are the gender they identify as with no prefix. Many get offended at the notion of being called a male woman or a female man, even though what has been established as far as terminology is that male and female refer to sex, uh, biological sex, and man and woman refer to a social construct. So why get offended at male woman or female man? Apparently, any reference to biology is frowned upon. They essentially want there to be no social distinction between trans women and cis women, or trans men and cis men, as if we can't tell by our senses what sex they are. They want us to no longer use biology as a means of recognizing anything about anyone. It seems to be considered offensive now. We're supposed to only refer to and think of people as what they strive to be or their presentation, or what they are in their heads. We're supposed to be able to guess all of that on the fly at any given moment. Always be ready for it. This is especially difficult when we're also supposed to get rid of the golden rule and replace it with this messy mindset of treating and looking at people who belong to different identity groups the way that we've been learning that different identity groups claim that they want to be treated. And we have to constantly be on top of that, because it changes all the time. Various multiple standards for multiple people that change all the time, instead of just using the golden rule. All these things combined to become a total and complete mess in people's heads. And I think it drags us down. It's great to be nurturing, it's nice to be thoughtful, but when people are forced into being nurturing, they start resenting it. And no diversity seminar is going to help that, other than making people more resentful and more aware of even more things they can't talk about. It certainly doesn't boost morale. Sorry, I digress. Perhaps the problem is that we allowed the concept of gender to be separated from the concept of sex. In that regard, I suppose I wish that John Money would never have created the word gender in the first place in 1955. 1955! If that word had never been introduced, then I suppose that terms like, you know, gender roles would be the roles of men and the roles of women. I don't know. 
and just people taking on the opposite roles. And again, I really have no problem with anyone playing the part of really any role, as long as they're not hurting anyone. But I know I'll still be called hateful for making this video. Thanks for watching.